Welcome to Explore Escape Adventure. This week we are in Nelson County, Virginia, visiting Devil's Backbone Base Camp, as well as Crabtree Falls and several other breweries. Please join me, Teresa, Rocky, Max, and Teddy on our adventure. Hi, welcome back. And right now we are at Devil's Backbone, which is also a brewery and a campground. So this is in Roseland, Virginia, part of the 151 Nelson Beer Trail. Um, if you wanna join us, we are going to have some pretty great hiking breweries and other places that you can visit. Right now, we are doing a little trail that is in Devil's Backbone, which you can actually pick up part of the Appalachian Trail in, which is kind of cool. So if you watch till the end, you'll get to see Crabtree Falls, which is one of the most popular hikes in Virginia. So part of what you can see on the map here, like Devil's Backbone Base Camp is part of the Appalachian Trail. You actually have a lot of hikers that stay here. There's a lot of primitive camping. You do have some RV sites. We're going to do a review of those in a minute. But what you also have access to is 11, wait, no, I'm sorry, 12 wineries, 10 breweries, three cideries, and three distilleries. So there's three different craft brew trails around here. There's the Nelson 151, Nelson 29, and the Blue Ridge Trail. Um, I'm sorry, the Brew Ridge Trail. Um, we did some of Nelson 151, and we did some hiking and kind of explored. It's absolutely gorgeous around here. The air is perfect. The mountains are beautiful, and it just magical there's a lot of bands when you go around a lot of the restaurants it's just a really fun place to hang out if you are somebody that likes a lot of amenities at a campground or an rv park this is probably not the kind of place that you'd want to stay i think it's amazing because the sites are huge you just have to kind of bring your own entertainment because really what you're here for is the appalachian trail and the breweries um the sites like I said, they are big. They do offer full hookup, but they also have RV sites that are available that are primitive. They have um, a bathhouse, which I'll show you a tour of. But like I said, it is not the highest. It's clean. It's well taken care of, but it's not the most luxurious of bathhouses. Um, there is a dumping station. There's also dumpsters that are really close to where you're staying. But the coolest thing is that you can walk straight through the campground, through to the brewery, and there's trails and really cool games going on like you have jenga sets you have the big um cornhole you have all of the things so even if you're bringing your kids there are things for them to do it's pretty beautiful this is the path that goes from the campground to devil's backbone which is awesome so when you're walking up on the camp spaces, these are the only spaces that actually have um, full hookups. The other side you can be primitive, but there are, and they're great for RVs if you have a generator and all those things. Spaces are pretty big, but when you're on them, the even ones have the waste on the um, correct side. The other ones you're running it across your campground. At night, it is absolutely beautiful and super, <laughs> whoop, there goes a the sneeze, peaceful. One of our favorite breweries to visit when we're in the area is Blue Mountain Brewery. It has great places for the kids to play, the flights are delicious, and the burgers and nachos aren't too bad either. If you're lucky on the stage in the back, they usually, um, not usually, but they will sometimes have a band playing, but the cornhole's always set up and they have fire pits everywhere. It's really pretty up here.
One of the prettiest patios in the area is at the Bold Rock Cidery. You'll see as we pan around that you can see a big view of the mountains, more fire pits, more places to sit. There's even a little place in the um, Bold Rock where you can go up in the top and look up like the history and how it was made. It's just really, really pretty there. It's one of the best spaces. Okay, now we're going to finally get to the coolest part of the whole trip. We did um, a hike in Crabtree Falls, which is the George Washington, it's in the George Washington National Forest. It's actually the highest cascading waterfall east of the Mississippi. And it's not just one big waterfall. There's a series of five, I guess they call them cascades, and a number of smaller ones. The total distance from top to the bottom, or the top considering all of them, is 1,200 feet. So the cool part is when we did it by ourselves, we did the entire trail, which is um, about three miles, a little less than three miles. It's like 2.9. Um, there is a fee to park. It's $3. But if you have littles like we did, you can kind of bookmark and only do what you what you think you're able to do. Um, we had Teddy. is He's three, so he's in a pack. So... We did about 0.75 up past the overlook, but the overlook is actually accessible by wheelchair. And that's only like 700 feet from the parking lot. So it's really cool. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you go all the way up to the top to the Crabtree Meadows, that connects to the Appalachian Trail. We walked up there and then just turned around and came back. It's a pretty vigorous hike. So make sure that you pack your water, your stuff, your packs, um, and be prepared. A lot of it feels like you're going uphill both ways because you're traversing the mountain. But it is really worth it. And at the very top, you get beautiful views and you really feel like you accomplished something. <laughs> 